Hello, I am Erica Rocker Wills with the Office of Economic Development for Clayton County Board of Commissioners. In the Office of Economic Development, we are the point of contact for all things business recruitment, attraction, retention, expansion, and small business resources. Welcome to Economic Development News. Our office is in charge of business recruitment, retention, and attraction for Clayton County. And as such, we work with small business, medium-sized companies, and our large employers. Today, I have as my guest, Mr. Mark Wilson, who is the CEO of Chime Solutions. Mark, welcome to our talk today. Thanks, Erica. I'm happy to be here. Always excited to talk about you know, some of the exciting things that we're doing in, in uh, Morrow and Clayton County. Well, we're very excited to have you in Clayton County as one of our corporate employers. We track, as you know, our top 100 pl employers, and then we uh, narrow that down to our top 10. So you are right now in the top three, just under Clayton County Schools wow. and Southern Regional Hospital. Uh -huh. So thank you for the job generation that Chime Solutions has brought to our county. Yeah. Um, as we get started, tell us a little bit about yourself and then tell us what is Chime Solutions? What do you do there? What is a call center? Yeah. Well, um, uh, a bit about myself, I, you know, nothing exciting there. I, I tend to, to be a, a pretty um, a boring person, uh, personally. <laughs> I, don't do, I don't do a lot. I mean, I guess with COVID, it, all of us probably fit that description because there's not so much that, that any of us can do yeah. while we're trying to be safe. But um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm married to the same same woman for over 30 years now. Uh, be the, in August, it'll be 33 years that we would have been uh, married, and we have two kids who are both you know doing quite well. My my uh, daughter Lauren works in our business with us at Chime, and mm -hmm. is an influential leader there and doing quite well there. And then my son has his own business, um, a local business called the Gathering Spot here. That's um, yes. you know uh, has a lot of the same you know, uh, sort of goals, missions as a company as we do around building community and having an impact. And so as a family, we're, we're trying to do our part to do what we can to, you know, accelerate the interests of, of particularly those that have been underserved and, and may not have gotten the attention and focus that um, we feel are, has been deserved. Absolutely. How did you end up landing in Clayton County? I see you've been here since 2016. Is that right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was uh, pretty interesting. You know, I was talking to one of my friends. We, we had the opportunity to um, expand our business. We had started uh, Chime uh, in a call center in Sacramento, California. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but we still lived here. And most of our leadership team was here. And, you know, we, we just felt like it might be the best idea to, to establish our um, headquarters here. Okay. And so we started looking, and um, we wanted to, to be more intentional this go-around in our business around community impact. Mm -hmm. So we started looking at the highest unemployment rates around the country, or around the state, not the country. Uh, we're looking at the country now, um, but at the state at the time, and um, in particular around the Atlanta metro area, and Clayton County and Morrow kind of stood out. And so we started looking around down here, and you know, happen upon the mall. Mm -hmm. One of my friends told me about another mall, the Union City Mall, yeah. and I went over there, and it was it was much more work to do there than um, you know the uh, footprint that was at South Lake, and so yeah. we, South the uh, J C Penney's was abandoned, and we were able to you know make a deal for that and just you know repurpose that and made it into something special and 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 put fifteen hundred um, people to work pretty immediately. That is tremendous. You know, in economic development, we are charged with um, filling vacant spaces, um, you know, properly marketing our vacant land opportunities. So um, with the vacant big box that malls across the country have been experiencing, mm -hmm. um, it was great for me to see you take the old J.C. Penney spot and mm -hmm. turn that into office, which mm -hmm. now the mall is retail and office. And, mm -hmm. and I understand from the mall managers there, it's been a surge of um, activity for them because of sure. your workforce being there on site. Sure. So uh, one hand washes the other in a sense there. So sure. um, we're happy that you're part of that resurgence of South Lake Mall. Well, as a Chime Solutions call center, um, who are your clients? Uh, can I understand that when when we're calling our 
various prospective companies. We're talking to representatives there at your place of work rather than the company itself. Yeah, and, and it's um, I'm not really at liberty to, to kind of publicly say who clients are and because I you know, get in trouble with them for doing that without their permission. <laughs> but it's, suffice to say they're Fortune 500 companies in the telecom space and the healthcare, financial services arenas where um, the bulk of our clients are today. And and we are um, handling customer service on their behalf for whatever it is that, you know, the business that they're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's great. And certainly with this pandemic, which has driven everybody to home, to using their devices more, doing more business by phone, um, how have you been impacted by that? Has business increased? Have you seen a demand to even add services um, in light of the pandemic and everybody driving from work to home? Yeah, it's, it's counter... Um, kind of counterintuitive that mm. you would think in a down market that, you know, like any business, it, the things would be down, but it hasn't been that for us. It's been the, the exact opposite where, wow. you know, there's been a, a ton of interest and even more interest because our mission, you know, and how we're focused, right? So the fact that we're trying to put people in underserved communities to work through the partnerships that we have with our corporate clients is interesting to them you know, particularly in a down market or in a pandemic where, mm -hmm. you know, the folks that, that, that generally get left out mm -hmm. are, you know, folks in the communities that we are resident in. Mm -hmm. And so um, we just, you know, took the initiative to, to try to figure out how it is tech, from a technology standpoint to get our people transferred from the brick and mortar in the call center to work from home. Oh. And, and over a seven, eight-day period, right, when the pandemic hit, we were able to, in three locations, we're not only here, we're in Dallas and we're in Charlotte as well, mm -hmm. we were able to get people transferred uh, and um, working out of their home. That's tremendous. Um, what are your hours of operation? Do you have, how many shifts do you have there? Uh, our right, hours of operation really uh, expand from 7 a.m. to call it 11 at night. Um, okay. And we recently, with a new client that we uh, just took on, um, do some weekend work now to uh, just for for a small, you know, um, segment of our of our customer base. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about. You mentioned about uh, when you sought a space for your venture that you looked at areas with um, maybe high unemployment. Mm -hmm. uh, before the pandemic, the unemployment rate for Clayton County was 5.9%, which mm -hmm. was still considered pretty high. Sure. Um, and we saw it jump as high as 13% mm -hmm. at the height of the pandemic, mm -hmm. which was, um, obviously very disturbing, not only for our citizens and our companies here, but, um, for our leadership with the county. Um, we have seen that number drop and we're very excited. Um, we are under 11% now and, I believe some of that is due to some of the job growth at Chime. I sure. was reading about some of your recent successes with your um, uh, charter and mm -hmm. um, another capital growth program that you've partnered mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. um, would you care to share anything a little bit about that and those 700 jobs you're able to add? Yeah, um, it, it's just a situation where we're out talking to potential clients and even existing clients about the model. Yeah. It's not only the, the unemployment rate, and I think this is a, an important fact to, to mention, it is that there's talent, right? So yeah. it doesn't, you, you have to connect those two because we're, we're providing a service back to our clients. Mm -hmm. And so we have to put people in play that can deliver. And we've seen tremendous, a lot of success for those folks that, um, that we've attracted to come and work for the company. So I think there's a big... Um, you know, a kind of misunderstanding yeah. that because communities may have, you know, not been as fortunate as others in terms of how they've been served yeah. and an industry being available in some of the communities for people to work, yeah. that, that that somehow paints the talent in a different light than what's reality. And um, so we've benefited tremendously by the fact that we've been able to attract, you know, a talented um, segment of the population. There is great talent here. There are great companies here. And, mm -hmm. uh, and part of the initiative for our Board of Commissioners and for the Office of Economic Development is to get that word out in a more, um, uh, a way that the community, that the world knows. The, the global companies that are here, the small businesses that are making uh, goods and products that we use every day. 
And I can't say that enough um, from my office standpoint. So mm-hmm. um, I, I'm, you're preaching to the choir there. Mm-hmm. Um, I did see on your website just some testimonials from your employees, how excited they are, how they talk about how they've been impacted. Mm-hmm. And it's very important now that companies have a culture of not just what they do, but uh, how they're inclusive um, and yeah. engaged with their workforce. Yeah. Um, can you share anything about that, that culture at Climb, at Chime? Well, well, I'll just tell you that uh, it's the most important thing for us. Um, you know, we, we're um, focused on, we're here because we're trying to make a difference and to impact, impact the lives of people that deserve it. Yeah. And uh, we can't experience any success as a company unless our people are successful. We firmly believe that and we're trying to do everything that we can, you know, to support the growth and development of our folks so that they can be all that they can be. In the end, if we're successful with that, our clients are going to win, you know, and we'll be in a great, a great place there. So um, we're, um, we're heavily focused on that. Like any company, we have things that we don't do as well mm-hmm. uh, as we'd like as a growing company. I mean, we're, we're growing a lot and with that comes you know some challenge sure. with onboarding people and you know you you in the, in this world of social media you have those that are you know very vocal about uh, the things that have, have been you know missteps that we've had as a company around trying to you know have it be an, an organized and smooth process for folks um, mm-hmm. but you know the context of that is that you know in the, it, during the during the pandemic we've hired you know between the three locations that we have, upwards of 5,000 people, between 4,000 and 4,500 or so people. That's onboarding That's a lot of people. Yes. Plus, we moved everybody from in-house to home. So, um, oh, you know, wow. I just want to say that, you know, we're focused on doing the right thing about our folks. And, and like any company, we're, we're not perfect. Well, I certainly understand that. And uh, you're right. You're going to have those ebbs and flows as a major employer. Um, I wanted to ask you to speak just a moment about um, something I saw on your website regarding the HBCU pipeline. Yeah. And you gave some yeah. staggering statistics about um, unemployment from mm-hmm. some HBCU grads and, and, and the disparity in how those numbers look yeah. um, versus employment ratios from uh, those graduates of PWIs. And yeah. so would you share a little bit about why you sought to have an HBCU connection and what you've done with that at Chime? Uh, well, I guess at the forefront of why would be um, focusing on the HBCUs would be um, important to me as a, I'm a product of one. Huh. So I graduate from Wilberforce University, which happens to be our nation's oldest privately owned HBCU. So yes. I, I very proudly say that, and I, I serve there too I'm on the board, I actually chair the board there at Wilberforce for a few years now, and trying to, you know, for the, the momentum that the university has, you know, and trying to do the things we can with, for our students. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it just has um, a natural uh, feel for me to try to do what we can to, to um, promote the talent that's in, in the HBCU community. Mm-hmm. And we have the ability to do that because we're creating a lot of jobs. We have interest from our, from our corporate clients in the talent. So we're now trying to, you know, uh, not only for the work that the students would do now while they're in college working for us in support of some of our corporate partners, mm-hmm. we're expanding that so that there, there's uh, ancillary learning in, in specific areas that our clients b- would be looking for mm-hmm. so that the students can be trained and once they're, you know, they graduate that they can go and, and work for some of our clients. Yeah. And we're creating a talent pool for them uh, along the way. So. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to do something that we're, we're very much interested in, right. support our clients and their interests, and help some students along the way. That's tremendous. Is Do you require a bachelor's degree for your incoming uh, customer service rep or call center representative? No, we don't because that, that would exclude and leave you know talented uh, individuals out. Um, yeah. We try to get uh, folks in that, that don't that haven't uh, crossed that threshold, yeah. and to encourage them to and actually participate in that. So, yeah. uh, Wilberforce has something called the Climb Program, which is a um, a degree completion program. So that if you started college and didn't finish, you know, by working for us, you can participate in the Climb Program and actually get your degree mm-hmm. along while you're working. Well, that's tremendous. You know. Um, 
economic development is all about the numbers and we keep up with our demographics and psychographics and you know um, in this county we have about 86 percent of the population has their high school diploma but about 32 mm-hmm. percent has a bachelor's degree yeah and those numbers are looked at many times by site selectors representing big companies they will assume that the talent is not mm-hmm. there or yeah. the educated workforce is not there and mm-hmm. and that is not the case and it's it's on it's incumbent upon us who are in this industry to um, tout our community and tout we actually advertise the entire region when we are recruiting a company and say yeah. we draw from the seven major universities that are here in the metro Atlanta area. But thank you for what you are doing there, and that's exciting to know. Yeah. Um, if our citizens are interested in hiring, are you doing any hiring coming up this year? Are there any hiring events that are going on that you can share with us that we can get the word out? Well, I, I would just so that I don't miss anything, uh, I would just encourage everybody to visit our website at uh, www.chimesolutions.com. We are in the midst of a real hiring. Um, you know, um, season right now for mm-hmm. our company, uh, where we've just landed um, two, three significant relationships, and uh, we're looking for talent to fulfill you know those obligations that we have for those clients. And so, I would just encourage those that are interested um, and looking for work to visit our website and see the the array of opportunities that are there and take advantage and join the winning team at Chime. Well, that is a great note to end our conversation on. Thank you so much for being a corporate asset here in Clayton County and in the city of Morrow. And um, it's my pleasure to have you on Economic Development News today. Well, thank you for having me. um, We continue to be excited about um, having set up shop here in in Clayton County. Um, It's been wonderful for us. We're experiencing you know, the benefit of a lot of talent and our clients are, uh, are loving that. And we just want to continue to try to do what we can to, to give back whenever we can um, uh, to the community. So appreciate you having me here so that I can talk about it. A hearty thank you to CEO of Chime Solutions, Mark Wilson, for joining us today on Economic Development News. And remember, Clayton County is the place where the world lands and opportunities take off.